the entrance at Thon. Those who are wise will shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. Good morning. Good morning. Today's mass attention is for Nora Malloy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first, apostles, second, prophets, third, teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongue. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers. Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God, he made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. And to his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, give thanks to him, bless his name. For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her, and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin, and this, at, at this the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. St. John Chrysostom is the patron saint of speakers and preachers. His name literally means golden mouth. He was a desert monk who became a bishop, and he was one who told it like it was in his preaching. He often preached about the care for the poor, the underprivileged, the outcast of society, and he did so by ruffling the feathers of the high and mighty of the time. The rich didn't appreciate his preaching because it called them out of their comfortable lifestyles. He was aloof, energetic, and outspoken, especially when he was in the pulpit. He would sometimes preach for two hours. Theophilus, the Archbishop of Alexandria, and Empress Eudoxia were determined to discredit him and cast him off because of his preaching against their extravagant imperial lifestyles. He was eventually exiled and, forced, and died in 407. He was hated for his honesty and his courage in preaching the gospel of Christ. God gave him the gift of a golden tongue, and he used it for the glory of God. God gives each one of us particular gifts. Thankfully, it's not a gift of mine to be able to captivate a congregation for two hours. Lucky for you. And I'm okay with that. I don't know if it's even possible for me to talk for two hours. St. Paul says, though, that we are all parts of the one body of Christ, all baptized into one spirit, all given many gifts individually. He says that some are called to be apostles, some prophets, some teachers. Some are given the ability to do mighty deeds, the gift of healing. And finally, though, he says we're all called to strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, those spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit which contribute most to the kingdom of God here on earth, not necessarily those most spectacular or outstanding seemingly gifts, but St. John and St. Paul calls us to those individual gifts that further the kingdom of God, the gift of love, the gift of charity. St. John was given a golden mouth, and no doubt he used this for the good of God. It was a spectacular gift to be able to captivate, to speak truth, and have people constantly listen and be converted. But still more, still more excellent way and gift is the gift of charity, the gift of love. St. Therese, the little flower, teaches us that it's not the big things, the spectacular things that we do, but the everyday things that make us saints those small things, the way a mother cares for a sick child, the way grandparents continually pray for their children and grandchildren, the way fathers and mothers work hard, long hours to provide for their families, the way each one of us courageously and relentlessly carries our cross. We follow in the footsteps of Christ. So in the memorial of St. John, Yes, be thankful that I don't have the gift to preach for two hours. You might be late for work. But even more important, be thankful for the small gifts that God has given each one of you and live them in small ways 
so that you may become saints. Because you are each ever important parts of the body of Christ. Together we bring the following prayers and petitions to our loving Heavenly Father. Father Church, may the Holy Spirit continue to grant her leaders wisdom and clarity in spreading the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. While the world, may God make proof of the efforts for peace and understanding among people of all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who live each day with chronic illness or pain, may Christ, the healer, bring them physical and spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For our peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For protection from storms during hurricane season, through the intercession of Our Lady of Prompsuk, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving and faithful God, we bring these prayers and prayers in the depths of our hearts. Knowing and trusting that you hear and answer according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, O God, of all creation, with your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacrifice, which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom, be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, only Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John of Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing a hymn of your praise, as without end we pray. Holy, 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 Lord God.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May you call you therefore the gifts of Christ by sending down your spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and after we were leading into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, Shireen, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your peace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other for the sign of peace. Thank 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called and suffer of the Lamb. Communion Antiphon. We proclaim Christ crucified. Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm in us your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a quick reminder that tomorrow begins our uh, program for men called That Man Is You, a program of fellowship and learning. It will begin in St. Joseph Hall every Wednesday at 6 a.m. with coffee and donuts, 6.30 a.m. our video, followed by discussion. So come out and join us for that. Catholic. Everyone have a blessed week. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Saint Michael, we are king. Be our protection.